do you trust the federal government to improve the environment uh, environment after what happened in the 90s with the clean air well, legislation and MTBE? Well, I'm not going to address that because I, I am you know, really focused the on this. Mr. Warner? Good night. ShireSociety.com about the public not being able to ask questions at this meeting. I didn't see anyone ask any questions. Did they all get signed up not get to ask? Uh, well, I mean, they were signing. They signed up to make comments. Uh, we had a very tight time schedule, and we had a lot of people who wanted to participate, so that's really the judgment that was made in terms of Q&A. Did everyone, did anyone who showed up today and signed up for something get to speak at all, or was it just people who signed up in advance? No, people who came in uh, to the event today, they signed a card, and those are the folks at the end of the program who okay. were called to speak. So yeah, there was okay. an opportunity made available to them. Uh, as they came into the event. So it was just the question and answer session that got next, yeah. basically. Okay, all right. Um, other question is, why is it, was it, <laughs> I was a, it's a little suspicious to me that everybody here seemed to be kind of in favor of the EPA and in favor of government action on the environment. I didn't hear from any of the many, many Americans who are against government action there. Well, um, I would say that this event was well advertised uh, throughout many Portals and if folks who oppose uh, the EPA's proposed action uh, wanted to come and speak, they certainly would have been accommodated to do so, but nobody choose, uh, chose to do so. So you, you advertised it in an even-handed manner or just to environmentalist leaning groups? It was put on uh, news websites, it was put in the Concord Monitor, for example, uh, and other publications in terms of a notification, and I would say there was ample opportunity for people if they uh, wanted to come and talk, no matter what they thought about it, and uh, um, that they would have had an opportunity to do so if they had um, arrived here. Okay. Um, are you personally in favor of the, the EPA plan? Well, yes, I Did am. As the state director for the New Hampshire League of Conservation Voters, I am very much in favor of the EPA action. How could, uh, well, have you read it, the whole thing? I have not read the whole thing. 675 but, uh, pages. I have not. Check. I have not read it. If you haven't read it, how can you well, push forward? Because I know enough about it to form a judgment. But can't there be so. one thing in there that makes the whole thing terrible for Americans that you missed? I think some folks spoke to some improvements that they would like to see, and that's uh, good. I'm glad people commented on that, but uh, I'm not going to uh, you know, characterize that uh, whole entire regulation in that, in that way. Do you trust the federal government to improve the environment, uh, environment after what happened in the 90s with the clean air well, legislation and MTBE? Well, I'm not going to address that because I, I'm you know, they really the focused lakes. on this. Mr. Warner? Good night. You're saying they didn't poison the lakes? I mean, I saw it on 60 Minutes. Are you saying 60 Minutes is lying to me? Well, if you saw it on television, it must be true. Right. Well, I, I trust Steve, Steve Croft. I mean, you don't? <laughs> trust him more than I trust a federal bureaucrat. All right, thanks, Mr. Warner. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.